Hi everybody, Dr. Mike here. In this video, we're taking a look at a concept that many health students find really difficult to understand, and that is pH. So in this video, we're taking a look at what does pH mean when it comes to medicine and your health. Let's first begin by having a look at a blood test. I've taken your blood, I've screened it, I've looked at all the stuff inside of your blood, and let's have a look at the concentration. Let's have a look at the ions. Remember things like sodium, potassium, magnesium, chloride, and so forth. So let's first take a look at sodium. If I want to have a look at the concentration of sodium in your blood, now those square brackets, if you haven't done chemistry before or forgot, they mean concentration. So the concentration of sodium in your blood, you'll find is about 142 millimolar. Now remember, everything's a range. Everything is a homeostatic balance. So you can have upper and lower limits of this, but what you find on average, it's 142. Now millimolar is simply the measurement of concentration. You could write it another way. You could say millimoles per liter. That's actually exactly the same as writing millimolar. They're identical pretty much, right? So. That's the concentration of sodium in your blood. What about the concentration of something like potassium ion in your blood? Well, that's gonna sit at about five millimolar. Again, you could write it five millimoles per liter. What about something like calcium? You'll find that calcium is going to be around about 2.5 millimolar or millimoles per liter. Let's take a look at hydrogen ions. The concentration of hydrogen ions in your blood is going to be 0 0.00004 millimolar. Now, a couple of things. First, if you've ever done a blood test and you've had a look at your readout, you'll find these things written like this, but you'll not find hydrogen ions written like this. We don't measure, or at least we don't write on a chart, the concentration of hydrogen ions in this form of millimolar or millimoles per litre. And the reason why is because look at how many zeros there are. There is a margin of error here that can be the difference between life or death. If you add a zero or leave out a zero, that can change significantly the concentration of hydrogen ions in somebody's blood. So to minimise this, we did something, well not me, but some really smart people out there thought, let's change this around, let's get rid of the zeros first of all. But before we get rid of the zeros, as you're probably aware in maths, if you're using something like millimolar or milligrams or anything like that where you're using, using a fraction of a unit, like we are here, you go back to the full unit so that you can alter the way that we change or measure those units. All right, so let's have a look. We've got the concentration of hydrogen ions is 0 0.00004 millimolar. So millimolar, just like milligrams, is a thousandth. So we need to move that decimal point down three places. So to do that, we've got the concentration of hydrogen ions equals 0 0.123. There's the three decimal places. Let's add those four back. Four molar. All right, so now we've got the concentration of hydrogen ions in our blood in molar form. Again, too many zeros, how do we get rid of it? This is how we do it. We need to take the log of that hydrogen. So to get rid of zeros, you can take the log of that number. So if we take the log of hydrogen and you were to type log and that number into your calculator, what you get is something that says negative 7.2. Four. All right, so we've gotten rid of those numbers, we've gotten rid of the unit molar, we've now got the log of hydrogen ions as negative 7.4. You don't want to write negative on a chart because you don't have a negative number of hydrogen ions in your blood. So let's get rid of that negative. How do we do that? You can take the negative log. You put the negative on this side. So you go the negative log of hydrogen ions is 7.4. All right, now I've gotten rid of that negative. And in actual fact, there's another way that you can write the negative log of something. The negative log is just like saying the power of something. So the power of hydrogen ion in your blood 
is 7.4. And we always like to shorten terms when we can. So what we do is we get rid of that, we get rid of those brackets, and we write a small case P, large case H, and the pH of our blood is 7.4. What is this telling us? This is telling us simply that pH is a measure of hydrogen ion concentration in your blood. In actual fact, your pH is the negative log of the hydrogen ion concentration in molar. Now, you might be thinking, uh, okay, I sort of got that, but what does that mean in the context of medicine? Well, let's take a look. You're probably aware that there is a pH scale, and the pH scale will have a top of 14, and it will have a bottom of zero. Let's write those numbers. So there's our pH scale. We know that seven is neutral. It's a neutral pH. All right, so these are our pH values. I told you that pH is the negative log of hydrogen ion concentration in molar. In actual fact, a pH of seven means you have zero point zero, 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 one molar hydrogen ions. How do I know this? If you, in your calculator, type negative log of that number, it will give you the number seven. What does all this mean? Well, let's have a look. Let's go down. We know that anything from here to here, we term acidic, right? Or it's an acid. Anything from here to here, we term basic, or it's a base, or alkaline. Let's have a look. A pH of six means you get rid of one of those zeros. So it's 0 0.000001 molar. A pH of five, you get rid of another zero, 0 0.0001. Molar. Get rid of another zero for four, we've got 0 0.0001. Three, 0 0.001. Two, 0 0.01. One, 0 0.1. And for zero, it's one molar. What do we see? As you go from a pH of seven down to a lower pH number, the concentration, remember all of this is the concentration of hydrogen ions, how many of these we have in the solution. As we go down, the number actually gets greater. As we go from seven down to zero or one, the number of hydrogen ions get larger. That's why it's inverse. So the negative tells you it's an inverse correlation, the negative log, and that's what it's saying. The other important thing you must understand here is that going from a pH of seven to six may look like a small change, but it's 10 times the concentration difference, 10 times. Going from a six to a five, it's 10 times again, concentration difference, 10 times. That's like saying your blood has 142 millimolar of sodium in it, right? That's like saying now you've got 1,420 millimolar. It's 10 times different, simply going from a pH of seven to six. And I said that your blood pH is 7.4, right? That's the average. In actual fact, it needs to sit between 7.35 and 7.45. That's the range. So it's a narrow, tight range. It's still within this seven. It's going from here to here. Really narrow range. But that makes sense because if you were going from a seven to an eight, that's 10 times difference. You've got from a seven, you've got 10 times more than you have a pH of eight. And this is why it's so relevant and so important for people who are studying medicine or studying health to understand pH and the fact that it simply means the power of hydrogen ions and it's the concentration of hydrogen ions in your blood in molar. Hi everyone, Dr. Mike here. If you enjoyed this video, please hit like and subscribe. We've got hundreds of others just like this. If you want to contact us, please do so on social media. We are on Instagram, Twitter, and TikTok at Dr. Mike Todorovic at D-R-M-I-K-E-T-O-D-O-R-O-V-I-C. Speak to you soon.